my laptop uh, is about to blow up. <laughs> oh my god. But anyways, hi you guys and welcome to my channel. I'm back with a new video and we are gonna check out a video called Awkward Moments in Boxing and MMA. So I'm not gonna ramble, let's get straight into this video. <laughs> Alrighty. It was a majority decision in favor of our winner. And still, WBO heavyweight champion of the world. From South Auckland, New Zealand, Joseph Parker. From Heartland, Wisconsin, USA, Funky Ben Askew. everybody in Dagestan, my entire team, my coaches, Javier Mendes, thank you so very much. Thank you for support. Congratulations, sir. Umar, no, 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 Hold on, I'm talking, brother. Look, if you knew my story, you would understand the passion. I ain't no amateur boxer from five years old that was an elite prospect from a youth, bro. I was going to jail. I'm still in the suit, sorry. But it's because the passion we put into this, man. guys, I'm telling you, this guy to be me tonight, maybe I could have done better, but it shows the levels of hard work he must have put in. This is what happens when you bottle up your emotions. Look at me. I'm a new breed of heavyweights. All them heavyweights, Mike Tyson, he Seven years Jack Anthony Nipsey. Joshua. Oh, yeah, you don't throw combinations like Rocky Marciano. Because I ain't 14 stone, that's why. I'm this, 18 though. stone. I'm heavy. Ah, this is the worst bit. I hate this bit. This is the worst bit. We're going to cheer for him three times. Well, how many bottles you got now, bro? Five. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. And as I said, I was studying Ukraine and all the champions that have come from your amazing country, but I've never been there. But at the same time, what's happening there is, I don't know what's happening, but it's not nice at the end of the day. Questions for Robbie, please. Robbie, uh, congrats. Um, I wanted to ask you. There, there's a uh, a really cool moment there at the uh, um, <clears throat> at, the, at the end of the fight where uh, you guys kind of collapsed at the same time on the cage. Uh, w w were you aware of that? I mean, w what's going through your head, and how do you feel in that moment? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so sorry. My bad. <laughs> what? What happened? I'll wait. He doesn't have. Are you a translator, sir? Yeah, you. I'll, okay. wait, I'll wait for Rob. My no, bad. You, you, you mentioned Rob, you didn't say Albert, so. You, oh, you, you thought that was Robbie Lawler? <laughs> with, with, the, uh, with the beanie, it threw me off. My bad. You cover this sport? Yeah. You thought that was Robbie Lawler? <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought Robbie may be sitting on the other side. I can't see. So. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> if you awesome. repeat the question, I'll translate. He'll pass it on to Robbie for you. <laughs> Isn't that the same person? Mike, uh, Francois, both a six to one underdog. Are there Mike. any concerns on your part? I don't know anything about that. I don't know nothing about numbers. I just know what I can do. How about kill this mother? Okay. How about the 19 months off? What that, about it? it what about it? Does it pose any problem to you? We'll see. I doubt it seriously. You take into the ring a lot of rage. 
Does that work for you or does it work against you at times? So you see what kind of reporter interview that is. Like, he's not taking it too serious. Like, he had dumb questions. Like, nah, he, he want to dig into something. That... You know, who cares? We're in a fight anyway. What, what, the, what, what does it matter? Well, for example, rage against uh, Vanda Holyfield worked against you. Well, f it. It's a fight. So whatever happens, happens. Mike, this guy's looking for something that's like not there. That? Well, I'm talking to you the way I want to talk to you. you. Wait, what did he say? He said, why do you talk to me like that? Well, I'm talking to you the way I want to so whatever happens, happens. Mike, why do you have to talk like that? Well, I'm talking to you the way I want to talk to you. Do you have a problem? Turn off your station. You know what? I think we'll end the discussion right now. Then we could. You got it. Have a nice fight, Mike. F off. Okay. And the only if time that the reporter smiled a little bit because he was like, not like had the nice vibes in the beginning, but at the end you could see that he was smiling a little bit. Like he was just looking for something, looking for trouble. If you're enjoying the Mike video, it, hit like the cool. like button so YouTube can know this. An hour ago, entering into the arena, and he runs into Uriah Faber, Chad Mendes, his teammate. And look at it, they go right at it, and you can see Uriah Faber's like confused. At first, he tried to joke him, then he gets confused, yeah. then he walks away trying to laugh it off again. Paulie confronts McGregor about sparring. Bring your balls Saturday, pussy. Remember what I said in the gym. Remember what I said in the gym. Bring your balls. Meanwhile, I've seen it with Lomachenko in the second oh, quarter against yeah. Orlando. There was unrest in Ukraine, right or wrong. There was issues in Ukraine in your second fight. There was civil war. Vitaly Klitschko, when he faced Danny Williams, civil unrest. Usyk has a chance. You've always fought anybody, of course, but uh, is it a little more exciting to fight the guy with Dana White privilege, right? I mean, uh, you nailed it with him. I don't think that shit's very funny. No? You do, maybe. I thought, I thought that... Yeah, he hold that one and he wanted to. Enjoy I don't think it's very funny. So, I mean, everybody's looking at it and they're smiling, they're laughing at it, but nobody's saying shit. So, I'm a kid that's up here with Brown, Dana Brown privilege, I guess, or whatever the fuck you want to call yeah. it. Yeah. I don't think it's very funny anymore. And neither do you guys. I don't think you guys should think that's very funny. So, I'm taking this weekend very fucking seriously. So. Apologies for the video quality, but the UFC okay. should hire this announcer. For your winner, David the Com excuse me, my bad, Elijah Young Snap. No! No! <laughs> I called it wrong. My bad. I got the scores right. I got the winner wrong. My bad, my friend. I'm sorry. Our judges called it 29, 28, 29, 28, 30, 27 for your winner, David, the coffee boss booker. John, John C. Look, this is quite a unique position here. This is big John Fury. <laughs> John, anything you want to ask him? That is not Fury. And I'm a noob. Anything you'd like to ask Dylan? Listen, they behave like gentlemen out there. Do you remember when, when, he, when he went to tell? Was that Fury? Maybe it was. I don't know. My bad. Texas and he got dropped twice in the first round a couple of years ago. Gonzalez, the guy Gonzalez, who a year later was killed, killed in, in a, in a drug-related death. Found naked with three other guys in the back of a truck, shot to death. But Gonzalez. 
All right, my bad, guys. Let's, is the mic on? Okay, so I had to take an important call. It's been like 20 minutes, but let's get back to the video. Where were we? What is he doing? I'm going to be watching Colby. I'm a big fan of Colby. He's a winner. He's a champ. And it's going to be a great evening, a great fight. And I just wish him best of luck. But I, I've just seen him a lot. And he's tough. Good luck, champ. Thank you. Appreciate it, Mr. President. Hey, look, you're right here with John Bones Jones. You guys are partying together? He's here. Look right behind you, dog. Hey! <laughs> this is crazy. Let's go. What you doing? What are you doing? Hey, you guys are the two baddest men in the club. Joe, lovely speaking to you. Well done with the trash. I don't know if you want to go again at Christian Hammer. Huh? Uh, we can, tell him something. We can, we will, you're here, I'm here. We can, uh, fight, we can fight on, yeah, we can, okay, we can fight on Saturday night. I'm ready, you're ready. Yes. It's going to be uh, lots of action. Mm -hmm. heavy, heavy, heavy punches. He wants to feel on us, boy. Are you confident that come Sunday... You know, I'll be writing a column about it's. It's very likely the Luke Rockhold fights John Jones. There's nobody that can put me on the ground. Nobody. Tony Bellew criticizes Tyson Fury for fighting twice a year. Look at his history. He fights twice a year at best. At best. All the top fighters fight twice a bit. You used to fight no, twice in the end. No, they don't. How many fights at the end of your career were you fighting? I tried to fight every six months and I wasn't allowed. Because <laughs> oh, every six to... months is twice a year. No, no, I tried to fight every six months. That's when I was a world champion. I, when I wasn't a world champion, when I was fighting. Okay, how many at that level, though. We're talking, talking about that level. Be a title, big fight level. I wanted to fight David A five months after the fall from the first time. It wasn't possible because of the injury, so I'll give him six, seven months. Uh, I fought David Hay in the rematch in the March. I fought Alexander Usyk in Wendy in October. November, somewhere like that, yeah, whatever it was. Oh,だって聞いてるのかと外国人。いやいや。どうですか。レフェリーに当たってしまいました。あ。レフェリーのサラサさんに。これは物に入ってしまいました。パンチが。今レフェリーに当たったということで試合を止めています。シェイ。今